Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the thymus. The thymus is a primary lymphoid organ. It is encapsulated and from capsula will from the capsule will get the trabeculae that divides the thymus into multiple incomplete lobule. Each lobule has the cortex and the medulla. In the medulla, we get the thymic corpuscle, also called the Hessens corpuscle. The cortex is dark, the medulla is light colored, and the corpuscles number increases as the age increases. The thymus gland is small in adult person. It is large in the newborn and it grows up to adolescent period. After puberty, it, it is going to be involuted, but in human, it remains in atrophic, in, in small size, it becomes atrophied. So it is a primary lymphoid organ and the site of T lymphocyte maturation and immunological competence is present in the anterior and superior mediastinum just behind the manubrium sterni or behind the upper part of the body of the sternum. The thymus gland of a child okay so we must not be confused with that of the thyroid gland thyroid gland is an endocrine gland and the thymus is a lymphoid structure okay this is the thymus this is the thyroid these two are different entity the thymus is large in children thymus is atrophied small in an adult so it is replaced by adipose tissue we are seeing the adipose tissue here this white area is the adipose tissue here. And this is the lymphoid tissue, again, cortex, medulla. Medulla contains the Hessens corpuscle or thymic corpuscle. And this is the cortex medulla in, in a child. And the medulla is continuous. One medulla is continuous with another medulla. It is covered by a capsule. From capsule will get the trabeculae, that trabeculae get inside the thymus and it make into multiple incomplete lobules. Okay, we have the blood thymus barrier. So idea is that lymphocytes are protected from the foreign antigen or toxic substances by means of blood thymus barrier blood thymus barrier is formed by the the epithelial reticular cells cell layer perivascular connective tissue and the capillary wall that forms the blood thymus barrier that protects the developing lymphocyte those are coming to the thymus gland for processing as well as to become immunocompetent so they are isolated and multiply in isolation due to the due to the presence of blood thymus barrier it is or it is working as a protective way to protect the lymphocyte this is the lymphocyte from the foreign antigen or toxic substances. The thymic cortex is darker and contain multiple T lymphocyte, macrophage, epithelial reticular cell and the antigen presenting cells. So this dark part is the cortex. This is cortex. They are the lymphocyte these are the t lymphocyte okay in the cortical region they are in the process of becoming immunocompetent and they should 
should be exposed to major histocompatibility complex and they these cells should learn what is self what is non-self okay so eventually they will become the immunocompetent t cell they will that will go to the from the cortex to the medulla and it will ultimately reach the blood vessel and it will distribute it to the entire body and there will be cloning of those cells different type of t lymphocytes some of them will be the cytotoxic t lymphocyte other will be killer t lymphocyte other will be regulatory t lymphocyte okay so from the bone marrow immature cell will come and it will be it will be processed it will be competent immunologically in the thymus and we have different type of epithelial reticular cell or thymic epithelial cell these cells are coming from the third or fourth pouch of the developing embryo third and fourth pharyngeal pouch or branchial pouch of the developing embryo the lymphocytes are mesodermal in development the epithelial reticular cell has connection by means of the desmosome and occluding junction medulla has immunocompetent t lymphocyte this is the medulla this is the cortex this is the trabeculae trabeculae contains the blood vessel trabeculae are coming out of the capsule so the thymic corpuscles are present in the medulla will get the corpuscles they are actually the degenerated part of the they are actually the degenerated part of the the thymic epithelial reticular cells they make a role appearance role appearance concentrate role a lot of keratin is present in the center and as the age advances number of thymic corpuscles also called hessel's corpuscle will be increased and blood thymus barrier is formed by the multiple structure we discussed that formed by the epithelial reticular cell by the blood vessel and the perivascular perivascular tissue okay immunocompetent lymphocyte reaches different part of the body via the blood vessel and we have some hormone is secreted from the epithelial reticular cell these are the epithelial reticular cell these are the lymphocytes from the epithelial reticular cell we'll get multiple hormone like thymosin thymolin thymic humoral factor thymopoietin the production of the t lymphocyte is also controlled by extrinsic hormone like the adrenocorticotropic hormone and also by means of the thymic hormone and also somatostatin this is the epithelial reticular cell this cell produces hormone these hormones are the thymolusin thymosin thymic humoral factor and the thymopoietin and there is connection between two cells by means of desmosome there is intercellular junction also connection by means of the junuda occludens that maintains the the blood thymus barrier we learn some of the clinical application thymic hyperplasia okay this may happen thymic hyperplasia and thymoma thymoma is a tumor of the thymus gland it may be benign tumor it may be malignant tumor in both this condition there will be myasthenia gravis myasthenia gravis is is found in a patient who has thymoma it may be benign thymoma it may be malignant thymoma or even in thymic hyperplasia dejor syndrome is a clinical syndrome when thymus gland is not developed in that condition the newborn and child will have infection continuous chronic infection and longevity will be very much minimized due to dejor syndrome lack of thymus gland we know that 
thymus gland is is the source for T lymphocyte and T lymphocyte is associated with cell mediated immunity. So that will be lost in Dijor syndrome. There will be chronic infection, sinusitis, pharyngitis, laryngitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, and there will be early death in case of children. Okay, we have some Vibhavosi question. What are the identifying points of this histologic slide? Our answer should be it is a lymphoid structure and it has cortex medulla and it is lobulated by the trabeculae from the capsule of the lymphoid organ. Cortex is thick, it, its color is darker, it, it, it is containing too much lymphocytes and the medulla is thick, is lighter color it contains large lymphocyte more immunocompetent lymphocyte epithelial reticular cell is present in all the layer and the center the medulla of the lobule also contain the thymic corpuscle also called Hessel, Hessel's corpuscles what type of lymphoid organ the thymus is this is a primary lymphoid organ like bone marrow then what are the secondary lymphoid organ those are the spleen the lymph node the tonsils the appendix what is the location of thymus gland it is located in the superior mediastinum may extend up to anterior mediastinum behind the behind the manubrium sterni or upper part of the body of the sternum at the root of the neck it is large in case of newborn and up to the age of 12 13 or 14 then it start to be involute atrophied, atrophied and the lymphoid tissue is replaced mostly by the adipose tissue or fatty tissue but it will still present throughout the life in very small size is it encapsulated yes and we'll get the trabeculae and through the trabeculae we'll get the blood vessel that goes to the corticomedullary junction and it will be it will distribute the thymus by means of capillary and those capillaries are continuous capillary and the capsule and the trabeculae are the dense irregular connective tissue how the cells are arranged in the cortex and medulla the Cortex is populated with, with, with the lymphocyte. Almost all the cells are lymphocyte. They are coming from the bone marrow. And this cell will be exposed to the to the immuno exposed to the to the antigen presenting cell and the macrophages, and they will be immunocompetent. And those this cell will be exposed to major histocompatibility complex and they would be eventually there will be the immunocompetent cell they will come to the medulla and they will release to the blood and in the circulation they they will be distributed throughout the body as t helper cell t regulatory cell cytotoxic t cell okay so this way they will clone themselves Okay, so we got the cortex. From the cortex, the cells around 80 to 90 percent cortical cells are destroyed or, or phagocytosed by the macrophages. So the population of cell in the medulla is less. In our, in our histological slide, in the medulla, it looks like lighter color because cell population is less and will get larger lymphocyte there and will get Hessel's corpuscles. What is Hessel's corpuscle? Hessel's corpuscle is the concentric lamina of the, of the epithelial reticular cell and with, with collection of keratin in the center. The, their number increases as the age advances. So in the older person, more Hessel's corpuscle or thymic corpuscle. What is blood thymus barrier? There is a barrier formed by the, the, the thymic epithelial reticular cell and the blood vessel and the perivascular connective tissue. 
idea is that to protect the the developing T lymphocyte in the cortical region. What hormones are released from the thymus gland? We have multiple glands: thymosin, thymolin, thymopoietin, and some factors, thymus-related factors coming out of the thymus gland. But thymus gland is also controlled by extensive hormone like adrenocorticotropic hormone by means of the growth hormone hormone or somatostatin and also the somatostatin and it is also controlled by a thyroid hormone what are the functions of thymus thymus it is a site of production of t lymphocyte t lymphocyte is associated with body defense mechanism immunological function and it is associated with the cell mediated immunity what diseases are associated with thymus disorder? We got the thymic hyperplasia, thymic tumor, thymoma associated with myasthenia gravis or neuromuscular dysfunction. And also another problem is disorder syndrome due to non-development of the thymus gland that lead to chronic infection in children and longevity will be very much decreased. What diseases are associated with thymic thymus disorder, myasthenia gravis, and the, and the thymoma, myasthenia gravis, thymic hyperplasia, as well as the disorder syndrome? Okay, these are my references, and that's all about the histology of the thymus. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. If you like to have any special or any particular histology presentation, please feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to prepare that. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.